Okay, guys, the girls were screaming, the traffic was disrupted, I got a little bit flustered and made a bit of a dick of myself. Justin Bieber is in town, people. He really needs no introduction at all. He's famous for his catchy songs and now for getting in a bit of trouble in recent years. Yeah, I was just a bit too busy for this today, but um, <laughs> right now, things for this guy are on the up, OK? Not just because he's met Heather. He's putting himself together. He's got an album out next month. And here is his first big TV interview. First time in New Zealand, the big TV interview. Well, not the first time, but here's the big TV interview. <laughs> Since you're running out of time, what do you mean? Hey man. How are you? I'm Heather. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. What do you mean? I'm new to the job, so... Well, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Good, going well so far. <laughs> Landed in Australia and you you gave them a big shout out. You said to them it's great to be there. But then yeah. you came to New Zealand and we didn't get one. What? Shout out? Yeah, well I'm jealous. What do you mean? What do you mean? And you I know, didn't mean that in I wanted you to say something like, Hey New Zealand, I love you. Same I, way you said well, it to Australia. I do love New Zealand a lot. I just was thrown off guard by it. But I love New Zealand with all my heart. Do you get any tattoos here? Because this is a thing of yours, right? I do have tattoos, yep. Do you get any in New Zealand? I haven't yet, but um I will. You want to hook me up with a tattoo artist? Are and I'll you do it serious? Tonight. I swear. I swear I'll get one if you hook me up with a tattoo artist. I will hook you up with I a tattoo artist. I got all the space here Are ready to get filled. Are you going to go up that sleeve? How, uh, does, how does your so. mum feel about that, Justin? Um, she, at first, was definitely against it, but, you know, she knows it's my body, and if I want to do this to my body, then she's she's okay with that. If you were going to get a tattoo in New Zealand, have you got one planned out? What are you going to get? Uh, I got a couple things that I have that I've been thinking about, so I wouldn't mind getting a tattoo. It's just I haven't had time. How much time have you got here? Uh, I leave tomorrow. Do you realistically I have realistically time? I realistically have time, yeah. I will get one tonight. Seriously. Are you going to get one tonight? Yeah, I'll get one tonight. I'm serious. Okay, point us to the spot where it's going to be. Um, so we can keep I, an eye out for uh, it. Possibly here. Possibly. Possibly I don't, I don't like on my looking. chest or something. I don't know. I got this one here. That's one of my favorites. That is a cool one. And then, uh. Got these abs here, as you can see. <laughs> Do you know, I think you like doing that. No, I don't. I don't like that. Do you ever have ladies just leaning in for the old touch? Uh, sometimes. You're joking. Sometimes. How old is too old to lean in for the touch? How old are you? A 31. Uh, Damn right. it, that's too old. That's not too old. No, not at all. You been out skating? I've been out skating, yep. I heard you were out skating at 1 in the morning. I was out pretty late last night. Is that because yeah. you landed late? Yeah, I landed late. So I went out, skateboarded a little bit, saw some fans, and um, yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. Do they recognize you when you're out skating? Um, yeah, yeah. I try to escape and try to get to a quiet spot, but sometimes they, they find me. <laughs> you don't mind? I mean, sometimes it gets it gets a lot, um, especially because that's the, when I want to just escape and get out and go do my thing. but. Um, I just recognize that this is just my life, so I gotta just take it with a grain of salt. It just was overwhelming, and I didn't know what else to do, so I just was like, uh, I just broke down. You're kind of an emotional guy, eh? Yeah, I have a sensitive spirit. I have a soul of a feminine, of a female. <laughs> feminine soul, don't judge me. Is it a good thing? I mean, I think I think it's it's good to express yourself and not be afraid to dive into your emotions. I think that's probably a good thing. Lots of dudes could probably do with listening to this right now. Well, yeah. I think that guys are too busy trying to be the tough guy all the time. Doesn't mean I won't punch you in the face, but I'll cry about it after. What'd you say? You heard what I said, man. What'd you say? You heard what I said, beat the shit out of you. First you throw the punch and then you feel <laughs> then bad. Then I cry about it, yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of changing our flag. Yeah, that's like, what yeah, I heard. Like, like you guys did, like the Canadians did, right? So a while I, ago, though, right? How long ago was that? Oh, you guys did it in the 60s, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... I don't, I, I don't know. I think it was before that. Was it? So this it is kind of what your flag looked like, that blue one. Yeah. But you guys had the red one. The yeah, red I was talking about right? this in another interview earlier. I was, I was saying, I just, I like that. I think that you guys should stick to your guns on that one. You don't want any of those other ones? No, I think those other ones are no good. Are you serious? No. That old guy over there thinks that too. Right? Keep your flag. You are so right. Right? So right. For real. I don't think people should change it. I don't think you guys should change it. I just, I like that it's one. It's just like, that's part of your history. And you want 
don't you want your kids to like have the same flag that? I'm sorry, know. Justin. I love you. Right? What you were come saying? Come here. Is come exactly here. Come right. here. Come here. Exactly right. It's like if they try to change my maple leaf. You know, in Canada, I would be so upset. But see, this could be our maple leaf. Um, let me see it. So, that, what is this? That's a fern. Because the silver ferns are our big, yeah, you know, like the, the ferns on our rugby team. <laughs> Please don't do this, guys. Come on. We have to give you this because uh, there was a flag that almost made it on but didn't quite make it on. Okay. And we thought it's just the kind of thing that, you know, you would probably like. Okay. <laughs> that was proposed I as like a flag. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, with love from New Zealand to Justin. If you guys use that as your flag, that's cool. You Look at this. It looks like a, a bionic bird. Thank you. Mm, we'll see it's you next time. To you. Oh, hold on. I've got to do it like a young person. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was so embarrassing. I, I went in like a mum for the kiss and then realised what was going on. And then I, when I cuddled him, I smacked him really hard. You whacked on the him back hard. I saw that. With the DVDs. Hey, and um, he mentioned it. So here's the question How did you honestly truly, really find him. No, I really liked him. I think that he's, I mean, he's obviously a bit, he's not like a normal kid because, of course, mm. he's grown up in such an amazing environment, but he's, he's really trying, I think. And the abs? You got the abs? It was not appropriate to touch the abs. Was it? Was no, it? No, I don't think. And don't forget on Facebook. Go to our Facebook page, um, probably like Facebook forward slash the story in Z. I can't remember what it is. Yeah, but you we've got, it's a signed $3. We've got a thing going there. You can try and get it's the CV. $3, but a bit more with the signature.